Hello and welcome, Sagittarius, to your weekly Zodiac Tarot reading for the week of July 11th through July 17th. This page is Moon Kitty Tarot. I'm Moon Kitty, or Kitty for short. Um, a few things to go over before we get started with the reading. Um, my social media links are listed down below. I will never reach out to you to ask you for money or to set up a personal reading with you. I do personal readings. However, I will not reach out to you to set one up. Those are spammers, scammers, and trolls. If you do want to set up a personal and private reading with me, the link to do so is in the description box below, which is circleofdivination.com backslash moonkitty. Another thing I would like to note going forward in my videos, you will not see my face. I have a limited amount of space in the room that I am currently in and I feel that it is more important to focus on the cards than my own face at any rate. <laughs> um, so with that being said, the tarot deck that I am using for these readings is the Gilded Royal, or excuse me, Gilded Tarot Royale by Ciro Marchetti, um, which I've pulled 10 cards, hello, 10 cards for you Sagittarius already. I also have a mini version to the deck uh, that if I feel like there's any clarification that ne is needed on any of the cards, once we have flipped them over, I will pull them. Also, this is a general reading for Sagittarius. If this does not resonate with you, please make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you don't know how to do that, there is a link in the description box and I go over it uh, when my Welcome to Moon Kitty Tarot video, which is on my page. Um, so, again, this is a general reading for Sagittarius for the week of July 11th through July 17th of 2021. All right, let's get started. The general energies are beautiful for you this week, Sagittarius. It is the Empress card. Such a beautiful, maybe there's some new ideas, new things coming for you, being birthed for you. So it's a good week to listen to your intuition. Um, a lot of feminine energy this week. Um, I will note that a lot of my other readings that I've done so far, I still have three more to go after this one, um, have been about balance and grounding and earthing and spending time in nature for the week of July 11th. So just to give you a heads up, that may pop up. I still have not flipped the cards all completely over. I'm just putting that out there from the get-go. Um, your next card is the King of Cups. It's a good idea to make sure that your emotions, which are ruled by water, and this is what is crossing your Empress energy for the week of July 11th, Sagittarius. Um, so make sure that your emotions are not out of whack. Again, keeping in balance. Um, if you need to, maybe one of the showers you take this week, you will set the intent that the shower helps to clear anything physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually within you that is not of your highest good. What is below you this week is the Ace of Swords. It is such a gorgeous card. There's um, a dove behind the sword, so protecting your peace might be necessary for this coming week for you, Sagittarius. Um, so just be on the lookout for anyone who decides to disrupt your peace and think long and hard on whether or not they belong in your life. What is crowning you is also another beautiful card. This is the Queen of Swords. And if you look surrounding her, she's got these birds or fairies or angels flying around her. She also has a little kitty cat beside her. 
but in her hands she has this beautiful wand that is i'm sorry beautiful sword and is front in front of um a very bright light so again maybe this is a good week to um talk and meditate to your spirit guides your angels your higher power god divine universe creator whatever higher power you call on um for your specific path to ask for help to ask for messages for ask and to ask for guidance and assistance so um your next card is another queen um and she's the only queen i have yet to pull so congratulations on that sagittarius in my other readings i i pulled three queens in one reading um and she i haven't pulled her yet but she is the queen of cups so this could be with the king of cups um divine counterpart maybe um if you are single and i will preface this by stating this i don't focus on love messages necessarily or love readings um but i will acknowledge them they have popped out a few times in other readings but because you have the king and queen of cups i am going to mention it it could be divine counterparts um or maybe um, about keeping that balance between masculine and feminine in their energy no matter what gender you are I, the cards um they show gender but i I don't necessarily state you have to be this gender or that gender. All right. So the next card is um, the Knight of Wands, dear fire sign Sagittarius. So the Knight of Wands is looking forward. It is not looking back. Um, it looks like he has been coming from a volcano, which is up here. Um, and he has probably or heading towards that volcano, whatever your perspective is. Um, to maybe fight and find out why this volcano is erupting. Um, he looks like he's going on an adventure, so maybe take a hike this week. Maybe go spend some time in nature, go camping or something. Um, your next card is the Seven of Cups. Make sure that you are filling your own cup. This has popped up in several other readings. Make sure you are filling your own cup so that you don't try to fill someone else's from an empty cup. Um without you trying to fill your own cup then you can't fill anyone else's the next card which represents home family and friends and i will preface this one by stating um home or excuse me family can be anyone that you want to be your family anyone you choose to be your family it does not necessarily have to mean those who are blood related to you I have a lot of family members who are not related to me by blood personally. Um, <clears throat> excuse me one second. I need to get a drink of water. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try this again. All right. So this card is the eight of wands. Such a beautiful card. And as you can see, it looks like the night is receding and the dawn is approaching and these eight wands are helping herald the dawn. Um, they are flying over a flock of, looks like sheep, maybe some farm animals. Um, so just know that it's not always dark, that the sun will rise and um, you will have light again. So the next card is about your hopes and fears. It is the ninth card. And this card has popped up in other readings as well. Um, this card is the Four of Cups, and if you look at it, this gentleman um, is reading a book, maybe he's meditating, maybe he's even journaling, um, and there's three cards, or cups, excuse me, in the grass beside him. One looks like it's hanging out on a mushroom, but in the top left corner, it looks like um, some divine intervention, divine entity something from the sky is giving him a fourth cup so um again i'm going to bring up your um, spirit guides your angels your higher power should be with you this week as well maybe spending some time in meditation again to ask them for guidance and assistance 
So the outcome card, the 10th card for you this week, Sagittarius, is a gorgeous card. One of my favorites in this deck so far. Um, and that card is the star card. Such a gorgeous picture. If you do everything that is suggested in the other cards, your light will shine even brighter than it ever has before. So make sure that, um, again, reach out to your higher power, meditate, spend time in nature, ground yourself, ground your energy, and, um, excuse me, make sure that you spend time with you. That's also been a theme this week as well. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. I don't feel that anything really needs clarification in your reading. So um, I appreciate you stopping by my channel. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. And in the comments below, let me know if this resonated with you. If it doesn't, doesn't resonate with you, dear Sagittarius, because this is, again, a general Sagittarius reading, um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, they may have a message for you that this, uh, this reading does not share. Again, my social media links are in the description box. Those are the only ones I use. Be careful of, of those spammers, scammers, and trolls. I hope you have a wonderful week and blessed be Sagittarius.